A legend in Oregon politics has passed away. Norma Paulus broke down barriers during her career in public service. She was the first woman in Oregon ever elected Secretary of State. That was in 1976. Chris Willis joins us now with a look back at her incredible life, Chris. Well, Paulus grew up in Nebraska, but her family moved to Oregon when they lost everything in the Depression. She couldn't afford to go to college, so she started working for the Harney County District Attorney. After battling polio, she moved to Salem and became the first woman at Willamette Law School. Paulus was first elected to the state legislature back in 1970 and would serve for six years. That's when she ran for Secretary of State and became the first woman to hold an Oregon constitutional statewide office. That distinction because Maureen Newberger was the first woman to hold statewide office elected Oregon's U.S. Senator in 1960. In 1986, Paulus was the Republican candidate for governor losing by an extremely close margin to Democrat Neil Goldschmidt. Paulus would go on to serve as superintendent of public instruction and even led the Oregon Historical Society. We caught up with Paulus a few years ago when we asked what she is most proud of. She quickly deferred credit for her contributions. As poor as we were and um, as well off as I turned out to be, uh, the major reason was I was always surrounded by really good people. Nice to see you. Hello. To others, Paulus was 85 years old. Her death comes just two days after Secretary of State Dennis Richardson passed away. Richardson was the first Republican to hold that position since Paulus. Laurel? What an incredible life and yeah. career for both Paulus and Richardson. Thank you, Chris.